Hey everybody, welcome to Panel Surfing. I'm Steve Sanu and I'm here with none other than Lady Killer co-creator, Joelle Jones, writer, artist. I'm a big fan of this book. You've got a lot of fans of this book online as well. And I think one of the main aspects of your art for Lady Killer that's gotten a lot of traction is the uh, the clothing and the character designs. Mm. I think are just so great. Uh, how did you sort of approach figuring out what Josie was going to look like and what she was going to wear uh, in each aspect of her her double life in this book? Uh, I you know I don't I try not to put too much thought into it. I like to. Uh, I mean, of course, the book takes a lot of uh, research. Um, but basically, it's like it, it's also fun because I know, like, for a scene, like, say. Uh, it's a party scene. I know I get to pick a party dress. So it's basically like, it's a little bit of shopping. I go on the internet and I, I research like, you know, party dresses of the era and just whatever fits the scene. And like, you know, if she's going to be doing, uh, if, she's, if she's killing somebody and it's a big fight scene, I can't have her like in a really tight pencil skirt. She's got a movement. So uh, I guess it all just kind of depends on, on the scene. I usually make the uh, make it up at the last minute. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the things that we talked about in the past was your research material, and I'm glad that you mentioned that you, you've done a lot of research for this. One of the uh, things that you mentioned to me was that you've watched a lot of those uh, promotional and educational films, the propaganda films yeah. of the 60s. When you were looking at these, were there any particular propaganda films that stood out at you that, you know, maybe helped influence some of the work that you've done on the book? Like yeah, oh, I saw one that was so funny. It was like, uh, how, a, uh, how a fella should behave on a date. <laughs> And uh, it was hilarious. You follow it, and he's like, and and he say he tells Susie that she looks great. And all you know, it goes forever. And then at the very end, it's uh, teaching teenagers how to be more civic minded. <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Whoa." laughs> I think uh, a lot of folks online, and certainly many many fans, have seen Lady Killer as a particularly particularly empowering book for women. Mm -hmm. um, is that is that something that you started off as? As thinking it would be is that is that no, no? really <laughs> no I didn't I, I didn't have any lofty ideas uh, starting out I just wanted to do like a super violent book that I thought was fun uh, and that had a sense of humor about it uh, but I you know over time it's sort of evolved and it has more of a, a, a feminist voice but in a gentle roundabout way that you know I think reflects more of uh, how I like to express myself so uh, well, we got some fan questions from social media for you, oh, okay. and uh, the first one is from IANW666 on mm -hmm. Twitter, and, uh, and he writes, is she going to write more, lots more? <laughs> That's, that is the question. Yeah, um, you know, nothing's really set in stone, there's no concrete plan, but um, yeah, I like the characters. Like, I'm having a ball, so, uh, you know, as long as I'm having fun, I can't see a reason to stop. Uh, well, Joelle, that's about all we've got for you today. Thanks yeah. so much for being on the show. Really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. She's Joelle Jones. I'm Steve Sanu, and this is Panel Surfing.